you have like a good five six hundred AOE heal super early on into the game and Shadow Shaman Chen together they can actually kill pretty much every hero on the map together. This event's a little bit more uh you know regional. Yeah. It's so a little bit unfortunate the Chinese team couldn't make it. And they want to go for Moon oh. Meander and get that first blood Easy. Kuroki. We'll grab the oh, first the blood and too. then denying the tombstone, not giving up the gold to Saberlight. That would be pretty, pretty funny if it actually was a thing. <laughs> but you can see Morphling is already taking a big, big uh, disadvantage in the mid lane. Sitting on a big disadvantage. Oh, that! Oh, <laughs> a miracle! Triple no, he, he just waved in on Bryle, but he didn't morph up. Kuroki actually put a tombstone towards Rose. Interesting. Didn't see what happened there. Oh, a duel on the Ember. Yeah, looking for the duel, trying to get something going here. Moomiander also has the shackles, so they do have the extra control afterwards, and they will get the kill on ILZW. Yeah, it's a classic. But despite Miracle really destroying mid lane, they're not up by a whole lot of gold. No, it's like Ember saving. Saberlight looking for oh, a duel, duel, and they drop down the tombstone to try and save GH, but they will finally get the victory for Saberlight. There's gotcha. a lot of zombies though. Yeah, Kuroki chasing, trying to at least get one in return. It looks like they should be able to get at least Moon Meander, who will shackle but still take a lot of damage, and the neutrals won't get the kill this time. So. 60 P? Yeah, easy. Alright, Snap Cookie again with the Scatter Blast. Dude was going to be dead here. Three heroes from Enigma ready to go. Tiny Morph, like they will outscale you in the, in the mid lake in portions. But until then. You're in the driver's seat. Now Moomiander getting caught potentially. Saberlight's here to try and take the tombstone and... Well, LTW will get the kill on the Moomiander. Now they're gonna they work over and maybe get the duel on Kuroki. He does get it, but... Is the damage there just enough? And Saberlight's actually starting to put out some right clicks on ILGW. They do have GH over. The Illusion's gonna be hit with the Fire Snap Cookie. They'll lock up Saberlight for a second. The overwhelming odds is thrown out. Now he might even go for GH under the tower! He's got no way to get out if he already used the cookie, but now that with the searing chains as well as the scatter blast, it's him up enough, and now he might be too far. But with the help of Tomato, this should finally be a kill onto the Snapfire. Mm, yeah. Well done. The true victory was very important. Snowball is even further. Requiem all coming through. They've got the Fear on the Moon Meander who dropped down the Serpent Wars. Dubu getting low. Kuroki chasing. Needs one more right race. click. Yeah. Yeah, they get the raise. They'll get the kill on a Dubu. Look for Moon Meander, but... Well, nice. Hop on over. Comes out afterwards. Miracle are going to try and take this 2 on tower. And, and they've got the glyph. And now they've got the hex. But the Mortimer's Kiss is coming in. Miracle is going to go over with some right click. Serpent Ward's plays down. Trap? Still but an easy what? kill onto Moomiander. Overwhelming odds isn't going to do enough. They don't have anything more than just the Shadow Shaman dying in that exchange. Yeah, Micro is taking up the tower. Or it could be big Ravage line. if he doesn't die here. They're gonna yeah, kill him. They've got the duel. They need to find a way to get the Ravage off, but they've got the Requiem when the Hand of God comes in. And now with the Ravage, they have the damage to get the kill into Dubu as well. Saberlight dominating for Miracle with a remnant forward from ILTW looking after Bryle. It's five heroes here inside of Liquid the Galaxy armor. to just go in on this more. They get the kill into Bryle and, and the Moon Meander just TP'd in. So he's gonna be gut. He's dead again. Double death. And this is the exact thing that you can't have happen. Like, we spoke about how strong their static fight is, right? You ran into the Tidehunter who built purely for HP. It yeah. Just, it sets up perfectly for Enigma Galaxy 2 when they've got these ults available. Kisses, Ravage, oh, Dubu Requiem, Dubu's just gone. Scatterbust is going to get the kill there for GH and Brian and Moomiander coming over, but I don't really know what they expect to accomplish going into that fight at all secure them a couple of kills he's not doing amazing on the net worth he's obviously behind the tide oh, the the shadow beam but ooh. They, they didn't get the chain lockdown oh no yeah now they're Shackles. gonna end up losing saber life potentially he's gonna try and tp out they have anything the cookie's just a little it's a long tp damage. yeah the tp was forever it was six seconds where did he tp to and it's now free roach they have so much minus armor no problem at all like, I looked at his TP, there was like, uh, you know, he TP'd for like a good four and a half seconds. He would have actually been out, no problem. Easy Roche, so they're going to try and push at least the tier two top with Serpent Wards, but put in the emotional damage. Oh. Now SF also with the aura on the towers, so they're gonna be pushing a whole lot faster. Saberlight, uh, should be easy getting out here. It's actually aggressing on Kuroki. Yeah, 
the kisses are going to come through. He's going to try and get this kill out onto the uh -huh. Undying, but he just doesn't have the damage. He's quickly dispatched. That duel did not really feel like it was going to do much. He ran it one before. Nick my galaxy. Yeah, they're doing a Brian got a Sasha finish at least. But uh, can Timato solo kill the Ember? They're looking for a duel too. Toss. Nice. And the duel. They should have the lockdown to finally get this kill into the Ember. The Fire Stamp Cookie's not going to be in time and they get the victory. No kills for the side of Enigma Galaxy. Invisibility is invincibility. Tidehunter is just running away as well. Shaman has blink though. He's under attack. You cannot crank him out of a duel. So if they get the duel off, he should just be dead. Shackle, duel, and a decay on a three, but it's not going to really do much. And they'll drop down the Serpent Wards. They'll also be able to get the Tombstone. So an extra 200 gold there for the Legion. But they find Tomato. Oh, Tomato. Still continuing for Kuroki. But they weren't on the same page. Initiation mid lane, Miracle. We have seen one SF death can be so detrimental to a team. Yeah, but he goes into the Silver Edge. They drop down the Sentry. He's trying to make something happen. They'll look for the duel. They've got it. But Mumiator taking a lot of damage. Do they have enough to get the kill here on a Miracle? So far, surviving goes into the BKB. And they get the Chrono Mumiator as well as Saber. Like, they'll look over at Dubu. They finally finish off Miracle with Pryo getting the kill there. And Dubu will fall. Three heroes dead on the side of TSM. Fire Snap Cookie oh, lands. Oh, toss. Ooh. The double cookie, but the toss away means that Pryo might survive. Dust, Tomato dust. goes out. Do they have the dust? They have the Sentry. And now... And trying to continue off the hit and finally use the dust. <laughs> they were using sentries to try and catch Tomato, but that's not going to work out. And uh, a lot of players are really greedy when it comes to investing into a revelation, a reveal. <laughs> I don't know if a revelation is the same as a reveal. Oh, man. It's not. <laughs> okay. Well, Bryle is going to lose his courier. That feels pretty bad, but we're going to lose he's his life. Control's gonna, yeah, he's going to lose his life. That's fine. Gotten any dual damage off the previous. Oh, the Ember, the Ember, the Ember! Ooh, the Avalanche! They popped the Got Lincolns. Lincolns. Didn't check the inventory. Nope. And that was the duel that goes on cooldown now. Searing Chains comes out in the Moomiander, and they've got the damage with the help of Kuroki to get the kill. Not just yet. But I have the W, you don't have the W goes down to the side of Fist once again with the remnants going away. He'll survive. Requiem used. Searing Chains oh, coming out with Brian. the Skirt Vessel on a Bryo. They get the kill on the Morphling, and now they're going to look over for Tomato. Dust, dust. Where's the dust? <laughs> <laughs> the dust is not there, but the kisses are. Dubu caught with the Spider Fist, Searing Chains, and where does this fight happen? Right next to the pit. They know that Roche is up, and they can go for this if they want. Yeah, you've got to be so careful. Like, you're very fearless. I respect that. And to begin with, it all started by activating the Lincolns, right? And they still chase afterwards. Gotta be very careful with that. Ooh, Miracle. <laughs> Wanted it. Man, that Axe Gosh is so insane. They got the breakout onto the Ember. Right now they have but... no Glyph. They used the 40 tier 2 that had 200 HP now. Oh, a Moon! Oh, God, the damage on a Moon Meander. Press the attack to save him. Well, the tower is gone. SF did too much damage to it. Yeah, they've got the damage to just take up the tower. They're going to look to sit on the racks, too. They have the oh, Aegis and the Hands of Miracle. The They're trying to split a little bit. No, at least a they can find anything. The best are doing so. Yeah, he's almost got the Tier 3 tower up in the top lane. How long are they going to be willing to stay on this one? They've got the Hex out, but there's the Ravage coming through. Tiny's still in the top lane, so he's not going to be here for this fight. What a damage they've got the break. They get the kill on the Moon Meander. They're looking over at Brile to finish him off. But Saberlay now running back with the Kisses coming forward. Tiny is oh, sticking ranks. to the lane. He got the top melee racks. And, oh, GH. I can step by two. He's GH, dead. He's just... Oh, oh. Yeah, fine with get a shard. They almost got him. They're going to look for the duel too. The BKB being popped by Saberlight as well as Miracle. And now they've lost Capital the tier Miracle. 3 mid. Gush, Requiem, Bryle in some trouble. But here comes Tomato with a clean damage. It's not going to be enough just yet. Moomiander, he's already dead. He's gone for seconds. And now they've got the Searing Chains out on two of these heroes. They'll use the Gush to get the kill into Dubu. Tomato can only just hide in between the tier 4 towers. And well, they're going to lose the mid set of racks. They might be a little bit too rich for Undying at this point. The damage up was just not there. Lincoln's still sitting on the... Uh, Amber's still sitting on the Lincolns. Too many defensive tools. And no buyback of Moonman that you only reel Disabler. Avalanche, toss, kill. Oh. control. They blew him up. And they want more, knowing that the Aegis is no longer available. But they've got the door. damage on the Saber oh, light. The winner there for Miracle. He catches this Lincoln's top the right click damage to the race. He's on a Bryle. They'll finish him off. They don't have buyback. Ah, 
Yeah, all three no buy, but this game is done and dusted. No chance. The SFR has too much damage output. Dust, dust? No. <laughs> Uh, Where this, is that? At this point, I don't know if it's going to be needed. It looks like Nigma Galaxy are going to take this first game. They'll call GG on TSM. And they will take this game, this BO1. Yeah. Making it look super easy.